water rising this evening and I wanted to say a little bit about floods. Um, floods we see are, in the UK they are one of the main things we see with climate change. In 2015 my hometown Lancaster experienced a flood uh, called a once in a hundred year event. They're currently waiting and expecting it to happen again. Um, it was December 2015 and um, the, we've had rain for a month. Um, Lancaster is on the, the northwest coast and um, we get a lot of rain. <laughs> but then we got Thorn Desmond as well. And um, the, the river is tidal and it brought in the tide and the rain coming off the hills meant that we flooded in 2015. And it wasn't that many houses that flooded, but what flooded was the electricity substation. So we had a blackout for several days. And not only did we have a blackout, we didn't have any telephone signal either. The only thing that was working to get news around for people was our local radio station. And it was an eerie, eerie thing to walk into the city centre of Lancaster and see the river so high. All the bridges were closed because um, they were worried that they were damaged. And what you just saw was a community coming together in a really lovely, lovely way. People were setting up market stalls on street corners to feed people who only had electric ovens, who couldn't get food. We had um, pubs opening without selling anything to feed people. We had um, kind of friends meeting up by candlelight. And it was absolutely beautiful, this community coming together in a lovely, lovely way. I wanted to mention another flood. Well, when we think of climate change, one of the big things we think of is sea level rise and the potential of that sea level rising just a small amount. For some islands, no matter how much community they have, they are still only one metre above the um, sea level. So when the floods come for those islands, their community isn't enough to keep that, the, the floods at bay to regenerate. The, the <laughs> but what we have the ability to do through the communities that I've seen as part of XR is to have some influence over political systems in whatever way we can through acting together we can change systems that impact other people around the world too and th this is my hope and it's one that has come from being part of communities in XR and seeing those changes um, and this is something that I've been thinking about a lot and the flowers that we're putting up around along here I've been asking people to write on little luggage tags their hope for the future and um, we've got a few more left if you want to add your hope to these flowers please do um, so thank you